Good evening, YouTube. I like back at you from right here at the Green Thumb Garden Channel here in Grow Zone 8B, right here in Tifton, Georgia. Today is indeed Saturday, July 4th, 2020. And in today's video, YouTube, we're going to be sending you guys back out to Deep South Homestead as we conduct our annual July 4th sweet potato harvest out at our dear friend Danny and Wanda's planter out there at Deep South Homestead. I'm going to swing this camera around for you guys right now and show you exactly what that planter is looking like and explain to you guys why indeed we will be harvesting our Beauregard sweet potatoes out at Danny and Wanda's planter today. Hang tight, YouTube. All right, YouTube. Here we are on our way out to Danny and Wanda's Beauregard sweet potato planter here at Deep South Homestead in our front yard garden extended grow area. As you recall from our last video update, just a couple of days ago on this planter, we actually have blossoms on these plants out here. Mark, Danny and Wanda's Beauregard sweet potato plants are buying way out in our front yard garden extended grow area. Today is approximately day 91 of these sweet potatoes growing here in this planter. And although we have sweet potatoes over at Queen Annie's place that have been growing for a substantial amount of time longer than these particular Beauregard sweet potato plants, I want to explain to you guys why we are indeed today going to harvest these particular sweet potato plants as opposed to those over there at Queen Annie's place. Danny and Wanda's planter here at Deep South Homestead sits at an elevation that is approximately three feet higher than any other planter in our front yard garden extended grow area, putting both the plants and their root systems three feet closer to the sun than any other plants we currently have growing in our front yard garden extended grow area. Not only that, as you can see as I pan around our front yard garden, all of our planters are constructed from wood here in our front yard garden extended grow area. And Danny and Wanda's planter is actually a tire, as you know, uh, and it's made of rubber, which actually holds a lot of heat. Again, this planter sits at an elevation much higher than any other planter in our front yard garden extended grow area. And not only that, YouTube, this particular planter is the only planter in our front yard garden extended grow area that actually remains in sunlight after the sun passes over our house every evening. This planter sits on the edge of our house. When the sun sets behind our house, everything over here in our front yard garden sits in the shadow except for Deep South Homestead, which means that Deep South Homestead gets anywhere between 11 and 12 hours of direct sunlight every day all the way to the point where the sun sets behind the trees in our backyard. At any rate, YouTube, Mr. Grosal is going to come out here and join us right now. She's going to remove the vines from Danny and Wanda's Beauregard sweet potato plants here. I'm going to pull those vines out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and get this harvest underway. Hang tight, YouTube. All right, YouTube, we have Mrs. Grosadal out here at Danny and Wanda's planter, currently in the process of, of removing the vines from Danny and Wanda's planter from their Beauregard sweet potato plants here. We planted these sweet potato plants back on April the 3rd of this year. Today is again July, Saturday, July 4th, 2020, making uh, this actually day 91 of these sweet potato plants being here in this particular planter. As you may recall from the planting video on these sweet potato plants here in this planter, this particular sweet potato plant here already had a small sweet potato on it when we planted it here in this planter. Um, a sweet potato that was about that size that had begun to develop on its root system. So we're not quite sure what our harvest is going to look like today, but we are indeed super excited to be out here harvesting these Beauregard sweet potatoes. We're super excited to see exactly how well or not well Danny and Wanda did growing their Beauregard sweet potato plants right here in our front yard garden extended growth. As you may also recall, we planted originally five Beauregard sweet potato slips in this planter. We planted one here in this center as you can see, one there, one there, we have one back there, one back there that Mrs. Rosenthal is currently removing the vines from. We get asked um, uh, quite often in the uh, comments on our sweet potato videos as to whether or not we actually consume the leaves from our Beauregard sweet potato uh, plants, but that's something we've never uh, actually done or d done much research um, into uh, uh, you can hear about the last couple of vines here at Deep South Homestead. And as you can see, those vines were all out across our front yard. 
after only again about 98 90 uh one days of growth here uh youtube and again i'm gonna pull these vines back out of the way for mrs grows it all and she removed them from danny and wanda's planter here i'm gonna go ahead and get this harvest underway take that mrs grows it all i think the longest vine that i measured on these um particular sweet potato plants was about 22 feet and that is a lot of growth from these sweet potato vines here at Deep South Homestead in Danny and Wanda's plant. We admittedly kind of overslept this morning YouTube so it's already the sun is already kind of getting up above us here and it's already kind of hot out here but thank God we do have a breeze that um, always blows from north to south or from south to north here on Park Avenue where our garden is currently located. Mrs. Growth at all is about to get in here uh, right now and see what she can find. I'm already seeing something. Look at that YouTube. Do you guys see that? As she pulls that soil back. She goes it all. She's gonna be as careful as she can to remove that soil without damaging these um, sweet potatoes. She's gonna get them poured out here and show you guys exactly how well Danny and Wanda has indeed done growing their Beauregard sweet potatoes right here in our front yard garden extended grow area in their tire planter. Again, this planter is completely root bound. And look at that, YouTube. Not a bad looking sweet potato, small one. And grab that container behind you back there, that brown one back there. We'll fill that one first. This is Rosa Dog gonna show us what she removed as she removed it. Ooh. Look at that, YouTube. Danny and Wanda, can you see what you guys do here in our front yard garden? In only 91 days, you guys should be super excited and super proud to see how well indeed your Beauregard sweet potatoes have performed in your tire planter here in our front yard garden extended grow area in just the past 91 days these are some nice 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 size sweet potatoes Danny and Wanda and we can't be more pleased by what we currently see coming out of your planter from your Beauregard sweet potato slip that again we planted here only 91 days ago on april the third this is again our annual july 4th sweet potato harvest our sweet potato harvest from last year was conducted again over there at sweet baby red we have quite a tremendous harvest over there at our dear friend sharon harris's planter but this year we decided to conduct our annual july 4th sweet potato harvest here at Mar at Danny and Wanda's uh, planter here and I'm a fresh yard garden extended grow area and I am super excited by what by what I've seen so far oh my god YouTube look at that these are indeed the largest sweet potatoes we've ever grown here at the Green Thumb Garden Channel in any planter during any grow season Danny and Wanda you guys have done tremendously well so far on just the first plant. Let's see what these last remaining four plants have to show us here in your planter. I'm super excited about this. I knew that their plants would do well, but I wasn't expecting quite this um, substantial a crop from these uh, plants out there. We will indeed be saving this right here and um, replanting this in our backyard. We still have plenty of time to get that going. We indeed already have uh, about 15 to 20 uh, Beauregard sweet potato uh, plants growing in our backyard garden extended grow area in our bucket garden. And Mr. Groves is going to try to remove as much of that soil from around the uh, plant, uh, the uh, potatoes here in uh, Danny and Wanda's planter. And try not to damage these um, potatoes as much as, as, much as we uh, possibly can. And she's going to try to get these huge, huge, huge sweet potatoes that Danny and Wanda have indeed managed to grow in our front yard garden extended grow area up out of this planter. I bought this little, uh, we brought this little um, small basket here to put our harvest in, but we may need something two or three times this size 
uh, to contain Danny and Wanda's uh, sweet potato harvest here. I am increasingly surprised by what Mrs. Rosadal is currently pulling up out of this planter. We're going to place our smaller ones here, or our sweet potatoes here, put the side down here, save our basket for the larger uh, sweet potatoes. As you can see, I'm trying to get right here without casting a shadow on what she's doing, YouTube. She has one huge sweet potato that is uh, stuck. She's currently trying to remove from this planter. It's actually uh, rooting down past all of our soil into some clay that we had um, past the bottom of this uh, planter. And this is one huge long potato. She's cur uh, currently um, trying to get that guy out of there. She's gonna remove as much of that salt she possibly can from around it. And then try to pull it up or I'll help her try to uh, get that thing pulled up out of there. <laughs> Huge. It's rounded. It is? Yeah, so it's going around to the other side. We might have to dig from that side first. Okay. This is all gonna remove some of the soil from the other side of this uh, particular plant so she can dig around to where that um huge 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 sweet potato is currently uh growing back towards and again youtube danny and wanda i am super 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 excited to be bringing you guys this harvest from right here in our front yard garden extended grow area in your planter you guys may recall last year we um attempted to grow um, pumpkins here in this planter. We kind of planted them a little too early. The sun really beat them up out here in this planter and they didn't do much. We ended up with one small pumpkin last year. So this year we decided to plant something out there that we knew would, would indeed do tremendously well. And Mrs. Grosadol is about to show you guys that be careful Mrs. Grosadol right now as she pulls this huge, huge, huge monster. Look at that you two. Look at that. Danny and Wanda could you guys possibly be more pleased by the size of this and she actually broke part of that off down there in the soil. Miss Girls will all be a little careful when you try to get much step it's under the tire. We may have to actually I'll remove you guys tire here to get some of the uh, sweet potatoes out but we'll um, move on to the next plant continue our harvest and then move your tire and see what's beneath the tire. That's why it broke. As we uh once we uh, finish this um harvest here. Moving much of this soil like down in there as possible. This slip here in the middle was actually the largest uh, slip that we had growing in this planter when we first planted them. Planted our uh, slips here. This was actually the largest, uh, oldest uh, slip. Here is one in this center. It has several nice sized sweet potatoes on it. YouTube. And we're super, 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 again, super excited, Danny and Wanda, by the results of you guys growing your Beauregard sweet potatoes right here in our front yard garden extended grow area in your tire planter. She goes it all is currently removing the soil from around, around the uh, fourth plant here in your planter. She's going to remove as much of that soil from around that plant as possible. And then dig down to where your um, actual sweet potatoes are located in there. Look at that, Danny. Look at that. You guys, I really, really, really hope you guys are as excited and impressed by the harvest from your planter as we are so far. Of a nice, nice, nice basket that is already full of huge sweet potatoes. Again, Danny Wonder, these are the largest sweet potatoes that we've ever grown here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel in any planter. Last year we had quite a tremendous harvest over at Sweet Baby Red. We did have some large potatoes from that harvest, but nothing even close to the size of these sweet potatoes that we've already pulled from this planter uh, so far. Okay, I'm
Mr. Bill Dawes is currently at your fifth plant here. Danny and Wanda, removing that soil from, from around this plant. Uh, again, this plant actually had a small, tiny sweet potato about the size of my pinky on it when we planted it here in this planter. And I think that may be it that she's pulling out right now. Look at the size of that guy. Nice, nice size. Sweet potatoes in your planter, Danny and Wanda. Now at this point, I may have to pause the camera here um, as I actually move this time I'm removing as much of the soil from this tire as possible and save it. Because we're gonna, we, we will indeed be uh, replanting something else in this planter um, immediately after this harvest. But give us a second, we're gonna switch this camera off, move this tire, get the soil moved, and we'll be right back. Hang tight, YouTube. All right, YouTube, after indeed removing all of the, uh, with the majority of the soil from our planter here, moving our planter from the top of this tire, we discovered that not only do we have quite a harvest, but the root from our Beauregard sweet potato vines actually permeated the top of this tree stump far down into the tree. As you can see, we have a uh, root here that's probably about an inch in diameter going way down into the top of this um, stump to a point where we can't even reach it. I'm sure there's probably a large sweet potato, uh, several sweet potatoes somewhere down in this um, the top of this stump at a point where we can't reach it, but we have several other uh, roots uh, doing the same thing, YouTube, and we're not quite sure if or there is anything down there or if there is how many sweet potatoes that's actually down in there past the uh, top of this stump. We can't get to those, but we're gonna actually get uh, put our tire back down in place now. remove any uh remaining potatoes from this planter that we missed during the actual harvest not quite sure if we have anything else in there yeah we have a couple more tiny ones down in there so here Probably doesn't lead to much. Don't think so, YouTube. At any rate, YouTube, we were pleasantly, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by both the rate at which Danny and Wanda's Beauregard sweet potato vines grew and performed in their tire planter here and our front yard garden extended grow area. We're gonna get our front yard cleaned up here a bit, get the potatoes up on the front porch, lay them out on one of our tables, give you guys a look at the harvest and get you guys opinion on what you think and how well about how well uh, Danny and Wanda did out here in their tire planter here in our front yard garden extended grow area. Hang tight YouTube. All right YouTube we're back. We've concluded our annual July 4th Beauregard sweet potato harvest which was conducted this year out at Danny and Wanda's planter out at Deep South Homestead we were truly, truly, truly amazed by the harvest from just five Beauregard sweet potato slips in only 91 days of growth out here in our front yard garden extended grow area. I'm gonna flip this camera around for you guys right now, show you what Deep South Homestead currently looks like after the harvest. Then I'm gonna take you guys over to our front porch where we laid out the potatoes from Danny and Wanda's harvest and show you exactly how well Danny and Wanda did here in our front yard garden extended grow area this season growing Beauregard sweet potatoes in their tire planter. Hang tight, you two. All right, you two, we're back. And this is indeed, you two, this is indeed the results of Danny and Wanda growing their Beauregard sweet potatoes in our front yard garden extended grow area in their planter out at Deep South Homestead after just 91 days. Take a look at this, YouTube. Bam. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that, YouTube? Danny and Wanda indeed grew some monster-sized sweet potatoes in just 91 days out at our front yard garden, extended grow area, in their tire, tire planter out there at Deep South Homestead. And we couldn't possibly, we couldn't possibly be more pleased by the results of what we see from their harvest. Danny and Wanda, my dear friends, you guys did tremendously well. And we do indeed hope that you guys 
are as proud of this harvest as we are right here at the Green Thumb Garden Channel. This is again our annual July 4th sweet potato harvest. Again, we conducted it out at Deep South Homestead in Danny and Wanda's Planner. And again, YouTube again, yeah. Look at how well Danny and Wanda did. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below this video and let us know exactly what you guys think about how well Danny and Wanda did growing Beauregard sweet potatoes in just 91 days in our front yard garden extended grow area. Thanks for watching YouTube and if indeed you currently are watching this video and you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumb Gardening Channel, please indeed take this moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button, and be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Yeah. Growing. Beauregard sweet potatoes at Deep South Homestead. Thanks for watching, YouTube.